Inserting an organization chart, basically a hierarchical structure of your company from the CEO all the way down to, well, say the secretary or the front office receptionist, you can insert that chart by coming up on the Insert tab, going to your Illustrations group and clicking on the Smart Art button. You've got a list to choose from, but we want, again, the hierarchy of our company. Coming over here, you can click and get a little preview over to the right, but the most popular one is going to be our organization chart, so I'll choose that and click OK does a couple of things here. First, it gives me a few boxes to get started. So if my company is small, I got my me as the president and then maybe an executive assistant. You can see the outline format is that anytime you see somebody over to the side but not directly below them, like these three boxes, that means they're an assistant to the person above them when they're over to the side like that versus directly below. The other thing it does is it gives me my text pane and basically that just uh, shows me in a bulleted format that the out dented bullet here is going to be the first box here the one that's at the top of the company a structure and then everything that's below him is going to obviously be below and indented so I can either click in here and type in the name my name or I can click in the actually the box and type so I'll just stay here and type in my name as I begin to type it automatically shrinks to fit and I can come in here in the other boxes and click uh, twice to get in there and then go ahead and type in maybe my executive assistant and hit enter or I can come back up in here and click in the bullet you can see it selects the text box of course VPs are a dime a dozen you got many of those and so on and so forth Okay, a couple of things here. If you'd rather work with the shapes versus the actual uh, text pane, you can always close out of it. But if you want to bring it back, it's over here. Just click on the text pane button. Keep in mind that you're working with two tabs up at the top for your organization chart below. First, you have your design tab, of course, and then you can format anything within your organization chart, including the text or coloring the different shapes within the chart or coloring your shapes within the chart. We're going to go back to the design tab. Now, if my company is more than just what you see here where I want to add more shapes because there's more subordinates to the VPs or assistants or so forth, like for example, let's say we have a subordinate, maybe this is Bob Barker, VP of Marketing, and he's got basically a slew of people underneath him in the marketing department. Well, I can go ahead and add more subordinates underneath him one of two ways. I can either, when in doubt, right-click on his box here and go down to Add a Shape, and then I can add a shape below, which is actually directly below him, a subordinate or an assistant, which will still be below him, but just like Jane Doe will be to the side if there's anybody below um, Jane Doe, like we have the VPs here. You can add a shape above if there's somebody actually above the VP or before, which means to the left of Bob Barker or after to the right of Bob Barker. Um, also, you can click up here in the Create Graphics uh, group, the Add Shape, and you get the same list. So let's go ahead and mess with this. Let's say we want to add an assistant to Bob Barker. Boom, it puts him down below. Let's say um, we want to select Bob Barker and also click Add Shape, maybe just a shape below. So there you go. The shape below is directly subordinate, where the assistant is more in line with VP, but we know they don't get paid as much, so they're still below them. In any case, if I want to add more shapes, maybe there's superiors to um, Bob Barker, the VP. We can click on Add Shape button, but first, of course, make sure you select him. And then we can add a shape above, and there you go. Now he's knocked down. We can select Bob Barker again here, and let's see the other shapes. We can add a shape after his name or before his name. So before his name is going to be to the left-hand side, somebody like who would be at the same level or after. So let's do before. And let's do a shape after. But before I do that, I need to make sure I select Bob Barker to have my shape come after him. So now he's in the middle. So he has a bunch of co-equal workers here, at least two others. So you get the idea, just adding and removing shapes. Well, how do we remove the shapes? You can either click on the border and hit the delete key on the keyboard. That works. Or when in doubt, you can right click and cut the shape. That works just as well. Other things you can do here is uh, you can come and switch the layout either to the left or the right side. So when I click on right, what's was over on the left now goes to the right or vice versa by clicking the button again. You can change the layout here to where it's the typical standard or you can have it left hanging where everybody's over to the left hand side. I'm going to stick with the standard because that looks best. As you notice is I started adding more shapes either above or below the subordinates or to the left or right. Now if you hadn't noticed over here in your text pane 
is basically an outline in bulleted format again as we discussed earlier it's just that anybody who's indented is going to be subordinate to the person who's outdented so like Jane is indented to Kurt so subordinate and everybody else in fact is in, indented where Kurt is the most outdented so obviously it would assume as an outline format in chart format he's up at the top you can also expand your layouts make your changes in here of how you want to see your layouts as well or you can do more layouts here and really get nutty with all the layouts but I'm going to click cancel and stick uh, with what I've got here you can change the colors by clicking on change colors and hover over and see what you'd like you can have the color at the top different from all the rest down below I'm going to select that one and you can get a little bit fancier to uh, spice this up just a little bit by doing your smart art styles maybe making it a little bit shiny give it a little bit of a gloss to it that looks nice I'm going to click polish and then of course you've got your format contextual tab here where you can actually select a shape and if this shape needs to stand out from all the rest I'm going to click on the border of it and then I can do an auto fill and maybe something uh, light blue so you can individually um, change the colors and format them as well also select different other types of shapes here I'm going to click off of that you can make this nice as well as by coming in here selecting the text and say that you want some text effects maybe you want to glow around your text uh, something that really stands out and select that I don't know if you can see it but I got a little glow there in fact, if I wanted to, I'm going to come down here and scroll down and just click and drag and stretch my chart open a little bit more. So it looks a little bit bigger. And then you can see my little fancy glow around my name. It makes me feel all special. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.